Welcome back guys, we're continuing on with these Mechabellum 1v1 replays and we have got a really really tense battle coming up here. So Gallimoth is one of my favourite opponents, he's a very difficult player to play against and he's also a very friendly player, I've chatted quite a lot with him and we have had a few silly games where we've memed a little bit but we've also had some very serious games and this is one of them serious games so I've gone Sledgehammer Fang with Quick Supply he's gone Crawler Phoenix with Aerial Specialist so I'm going to be replicating a strategy that I used not long ago to defeat the Chinese strat, the steel ball mustang strat. So I wanted to replicate it to see if this, the same setup works against a different enemy army composition. So I haven't really messed around with this setup very much at all, probably only three or four games. So I don't know what its strengths and weaknesses are and really the best way to actually play the setup. But we're going for this box style setup with vertical fangs and horizontal sledges. So his, he's added a couple of arc lights in that are going to do significant amount of damage to our fangs. And we kind of need the fangs to survive so we can kill the phoenixes. It's looking like the fangs aren't going to survive. They might do. Yeah, it looks like they will actually. So, looks like round one goes to us. So there's a couple of different choices that we could go for here, but none of them are really that interesting. He's decided to skip. I don't really intend on using giants in this battle, because I want to try out this specific strategy, so I'm probably going to skip and not take the extended range Vulcan. It is very good the extended range Vulcan is. I'm obviously taking a long time to decide whether to commit to the strategy or not. So I decide to go for the deployment module. So I'm clearly trying to mess about with his placements. So it'll be interesting to see if it actually works or not. So I've brought in a couple of snipers. Or oh, did I bring in one sniper and one sledge? Or oh, did I bring in the snipers in the last round and I've just brought in two sledges? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but I've got four sledges and two snipers. He's brought in two Mustangs. Yeah, 
yeah, I definitely didn't have any snipers before, did I? Because I was relying on the fangs to deal with the phoenixes. Well, that went quite nicely. So he's going for the missile strike. Looks like I'm taking my time again. And I decide to go for the shield specialist. It's very rare that I go for that. But it looks like I'm wanting to shield up. And try and get the shields to last multiple rounds. So it'll be interesting to see if it works. Looks like I placed that shield fairly nicely to protect from the missile. So I've decided to go for an arc light over here with the deployment module on, but unfortunately he's put steel balls here, so that's going to backfire immediately. He's also gone for armor on his arc lights, which is quite interesting. So his missile did virtually nothing. Unfortunately my arc light just died immediately to the steel balls. Are these steel balls going to be able to take this shield out? Or am I going to kill it in time? Oof, we just about killed it in time. So the shields worked out fairly nicely there. Looks like we're going to win this round. So he's gone for orbital bombardment. And once again, I'm taking my time. What am I going to decide to go for? Orbital Bombardment would be probably the best choice. Amplifying Core could potentially be a good choice going forward, putting it on the sledges, which is what I decide to do. So Amplifying Core here. So let's see how well his Orbital does. So we've gone for Increased Attack on the sledges. Now, I'd accidentally <laughs> uh, been messing about with this damage sharing on the sledges and I'd forgotten to replace it back with the Mechanical Rage. So, unfortunately, I wanted to get the Mechanical Rage upgrade and because it wasn't available, I ended up getting the Armor Piercing instead. Armor Piercing will do okay. But it wasn't what I actually wanted to get. Oh, a couple of nasty orbital strike hits there. And another one there. Another one there. So his orbital was fairly effective. It's looking like it might win in the round. Or at least winning this side of the round anyway. 
So he's taken out the shield, which is a little bit frustrating. But we've taken out one of his towers. So hopefully we can take out his phoenixes. That's one down. No, unfortunately we locked onto the mustangs. And we're just about to lose the sniper with a sliver of health. So that's rather unfortunate. That means that he's going to win the round because we haven't got any anti-air left. Okay, so next up, we've got junior manufacturing and senior manufacturing on the same choices. Extended range sledgehammer, that might be useful. But he is coming straight at me with steel balls, so maybe not so useful. Assault fortress would probably be pretty decent. But assault fortress or Fortress itself is probably not a wise decision against the Steel Balls. He's put armor on the Steel Balls as well. And it looks like he's gone for increased damage on the Mustangs. So at the moment, our fangs can't really damage anything. But to be fair, I'm not using them as damage dealers. I'm just using them as shields. Now I'm bringing in some more sledges. This is too many, this is. I've gone for six sledges. That really is too many. But I want to see if I can get it to work. I've got the placements a little bit off. I think maybe moving them in one tile each side so this is in the middle would work out a bit better. So the sledges are doing a decent job taking out the steel balls, which is why I recruited so many. And they're also pretty decent against the Mustangs, so it is a decent comp. It's just, it can be countered quite easily with Stormcallers. So it'll be interesting to see if he actually builds the stone callers. Well, I've gone for the Vulcan's descent, mainly in case he went for it and I'm using it defensively. The last thing I want is for him to snipe my tower with a Vulcan. So he's gone for a missile over here. I'm bringing in a couple of overlords. I see that I've got a weakness. And that is against Stormcallers. So I decide to go for Overlords. One, because Stormcallers can't shoot them. And two, because... I wanted some air units of my own. coming in at me. He must have recruited a load of crawlers. So this is going to be pretty scary trying to deal with all these crawlers. So he's 
decided to go for acid crawlers. It'll be interesting to see if it pays off or not. Well, he managed to kill the snipers, but he's now got no anti-air left, which is what I was hoping for. That's why I built these overlords. So, <laughs> I make an interesting decision here. I noticed that I've never actually bought this Elite Rhino before. I didn't even know it was a card that you could buy. So you can purchase level 3 Rhinos. And I just gave in to the temptation and decided to go for this Elite Rhino. Not because I think it's actually a good decision. <laughs> just because I've never bought the card before I wanted to buy it. So he's gone for the Senior Defense Specialist. So obviously going for Rhinos makes no sense here because he's got Steel Balls. I just really wanted to buy them. <laughs> so really, and what I was hoping for was to get the um, Self-Destruct. But unfortunately, I didn't realize how much it was going to cost. And I bought the Photon Coating before I realized how much money I had. So, unfortunately, the surprise attack of the exploding rhinos is not going to pay off because I spent the money on the wrong tech. So I was rather annoyed with myself there because I was really hoping I'd run in, get to about here, the steel balls would come in, and then I'd blow everything up. Unfortunately, I cocked it all up. But we'll see how they get on anyway. We're getting a few kills on this side. And they're doing a bit of distracting. But yeah, them explos explosions would have been fantastic if it paid off. Would have killed so much stuff. Has he gone for mechanical division on his steel balls? It's quite possible he has. It's looking like we might win this round again due to the fact that I've got a flyer and he hasn't got any more anti-air left. So the overlords turned out to be a really good decision. That's two rounds in a row that we've won because we had an air unit. Okay, so everything's gone really well so far, but unfortunately, cocking up with these rhinos has cost me the victory on that previous round. So let's hope it doesn't cost me the victory in all. So I decide not to go for the final blitz now, just because I was pretty confident that they were going to get a hacker. So I didn't feel like it was worth the upgrade now. So I, got, I went for the Ion Blast and I didn't place it on the Stormcallers because I didn't want to accidentally hit the Rhino. What I was trying to do was place it in a position where I'd catch the Steel Balls. That was the idea anyway. He has got Mechanical Division. I thought he did. So I've gone for a couple more Overlords and I've gone for the Overlord Artillery. So what I'm doing basically is setting up a final blitz for the following turn. So basically I can use the Overlord Artillery to destroy 
the Rhino once he's been hacked if the uh, opponent buys the hacker that way I'll still be able to self detonate it and get some kills off with it even if he does hack it so the ion blast did a fairly decent job it wasn't quite perfect but it did it did a decent job but we're getting overrun with acid crawlers And it's looking like we're not going to win this round because he has got quite a bit of anti-air left. So hopefully our cock up in the previous round isn't going to cost us the victory. So it's not really that much here. We could go for the anti-interference to prevent one of the rhinos from being hacked. And unsurprisingly, he went for the hacker, which is what I expected. That's why I built these overlords. So the overlords will basically shoot the rhino once the rhino's been hacked. And hopefully we'll still get the explosion off. So we're doing a bit of levelling up. I still haven't bought the final blitz, so it must be the following turn that I decide to get that. So I put the orbital strike here to deal with these acid um, parasitic storm callers. Luckily, his hacker walked just into range of the um, orbital strike, so that was quite nice. But this is a lot of units that are coming through here. We just simply haven't got the firepower. We'd need Vulcans to be able to deal with all these acid crawlers. It's just simply too much. Right, well, we've got photon emission, smoke bomb, charged ammo. So he's decided to go for the charged ammo. Not quite sure why. Not sure who he's going to put that on. Looks like he's put it on these Mustangs at the back. And we've gone for the smoked bomb. The smoked smoke bomb. So we're using the Vulcan defensively to try and mop up some of the crawlers that make it through. We're using the smoke bomb here to try and make it life difficult for the mustangs and the steel balls and we have gone for the final blitz now so let's see if we can get this final blitz to work so the idea is they hack it but it's going to be close to their units once it's hacked the overlord can finish it off and get the explosion which will still kill some of their men that's the idea anyway, so let's see if it pays off. We've got a load of golden sledgehammers. Bringing in some rockets to try and make life a bit easier for the rhinos. Fortunately, they brought in some crawlers. So we got the explosion here. Which killed a few sledgehammers, uh, a few storm callers. We got the explosion here, which killed a few as well. It wasn't quite as devastating as I was hoping, but it did work to some degree. And we've managed to get a lot of work done on this right hand side because of the smoke bomb. 
So we're going to lose the left hand side. But the right hand side is faring really well. So let's see. He managed to hack my Vulcan, unfortunately. But the snipers are doing a cracking job. So we've got extended range and elite marksman. And I think, is that enough? That is enough by six hit points. So an incredibly close end to the, the battle. And it was all thanks to this smoke bomb. So it was a, a silly attempt really with the self-destructing rhino. Well, to be fair, it wasn't a silly attempt. It was a, a cock up that I went for the photon coating instead of the final blitz. So it wasn't a silly attempt, it was just a mistake on my part. Once I cocked it up, really I should have just sold them, rather than le let them get hacked. But it turned out alright in the end anyway. Looks like they brought in some flankers, but the overlords made short work of them. So yeah, all in all, a really close game, really fun game, and we managed to defeat the Steel Ball Mustang combination again. So this opponent played it rather differently to the Chinese, because the Chinese would go for life steel and range. He went for armor and mechanical division with acid crawlers. So it was a little bit different to the Chinese strap. But it's still nice to be able to win against the balls. And yeah, a decent game. A decent game. Rather different to the usual as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers for watching. Join me again in the next one. We'll see what that one holds. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.